just lots of communication. So how do you think we made it work um, doing this being remote? Because that might be something that a number of candidates or um, you know, potential CPA students or aspiring education professionals are considering. It's like, how do I how do I build a team, build a relationship, get shit done and do cool things in a remote environment? I, that's such a good question. And I think like, honestly, just being yourself, like you have to like almost exude more of your personality through remote work. And I can't help it. You know that Sam, like my emails are always ridiculous. Like I, I'm so, I'm quite casual with my emails, which I should probably check myself on sometimes, but no, because like when they needed to be like top notch, yeah. you had that skill set, but you leaned into your personality, which is great. Well, and I think that's the biggest thing is you have to make connections. And half the time you I, I don't even know people's faces yeah. that I've talked to for years. And I but I know them like I know if you ask me about them, I'm like, this is exactly how I would describe that person. This is their skill set. This is all this stuff. And I think just coming across that way making sure you know have some casual conversations outside of work yeah just um what else oh I can't yeah dealing with the remoteness uh respecting boundaries Hmm. that's huge because remote work is like I can email you any time of the day yeah but like Sam was so good at this she'd always say hey this is like for not right now she would always you know disclaimer at the beginning of the email this is just when she was working don't think you have to answer me tonight you know kind of thing just respecting that yeah that that went a huge way a long way I should say yeah and with that communication right communication yeah you know sometimes we'd send each other FYI emails and like flat out say don't answer or like this is for it would be like in July and we'd be like this is for November (laughs) yeah (laughs) Yeah. put that away put that in your folder yeah yeah absolutely what about so I know for me something that I tried to do with um building building a team and having people at different places in both their energy that they can invest in the program because like let's face it um most people were had other jobs had other full-time jobs or other part-time jobs or any other things I think like we both had other education commitments so Mm -hmm. it was like you know, creating an environment that people wanted to be there versus, you know, um, punitive. And I know that that's something that we really strive to do. And I want to put some context behind that. So something that I tried to do is always show why we were doing something like Mm. bring it back to like, you know, Hey, this kind of sucks right now. And like, I understand like we're developing this and blah, blah, blah. But like, once we get this kind of hammered out, with your feedback, like the learners will be better served for it. Yes. Yeah. Always providing them with like a, yeah, absolutely. That's yeah. You did so well at that. And even like commiserating sometimes, like even that first sentence, that's huge. Like I would have markers and t- uh, like leadership people, um, people working with us, just like, this is really bad right now. Like I'm working really hard. I'm like, yeah. I know I'm sorry. I'm with you. Like we're all doing it. Yeah. 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 And like, I remember I kept, um, we were able to, I think save like $10,000, which out of like $3 million, three and a half million dollars, doesn't seem like a lot, but I, I saved it and earmarked it and like protected it and said, Hey, listen, did you have a problem last? Like, like during the center, like put together a, like half a page, like pitch, like, tell me what can be done for next time to fix it. Like you have a problem. You were the best person to give me the solution. So give me mm-hmm. a solution and then you'll have the right of first refusal with a budget to fix it for next year. Like, yeah. because sometimes we don't see problems until you're in it. Right. And, totally. you know, and it, it sucks for everybody and nobody wants people to work like that. And also you know, when we switch to the risk-based um, quality assurance, some people were, you know, were still of the mindset that more is more. So kind of saying, hey, listen, you're not being paid to do everything of everything. You're being paid to do, you know, use your professional judgment. So sometimes having those difficult conversations and being like, you might feel like you're doing less, but when you're doing a targeted approach, you're being so much more effective mm-hmm. and you can leave and go do your other work or go do have a summer and having those conversations, which I think was 
Like we don't want anybody to, it, it's going to be hard enough. Things are going to come up that take enough of your time. So don't yeah. make it any harder. So work with us, you know, have those conversations. Um, and also mm -hmm. like when I screwed up, try to like have a moment, be like, this sucks, but then own it and just be totally. transparent. Oh, did I ever learn that in NMC? Just own it when you mess up. Like, well, I guess that's my kind of my whole career. I always watch people who tried to hide their mess ups. I'm like, that's going to come out in a different way. Like, and I know it already, but yeah, that was huge. Like in a fast paced environment that we were in was great, like really tight deadlines. If you screw up and you don't tell someone we can't fix it. So it was so amazing. The environment we were in, everybody felt comfortable saying, Hey, I messed up, but Hey, here's how I think we should fix it. Like, yeah. So yeah, I think you just create that environment of comfort. You empathize. Yeah. We, was remote. yeah, we, yeah. we, um, divide and conquer. Um, and then having those conversations, like if there was work that came up, it's like, cool, do you want to do this? Do you want to get somebody else to do this? Do you, who's the best person for this? And like, mm -hmm. you know, um, if you, you take on, not you, but like if I, or you take on something and I don't know, you say it's going to be done Friday and it's like Thursday and you're like, there's no way there's it's no like, way. No, yeah. no excuse. Like, no, Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, that's a cool. Like, let's, let's reevaluate. Do we still yeah. need that? Can somebody else come in? Like, because that's the other thing too, is like, when you share your work, you're empowering somebody else and you're strengthening your team. And so, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, perhaps the compensation structure or whatever, it'd be a short time hit, but really it's a bigger, like a longer time play. And, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of, if you don't mind me saying, a lot of your compensation was you had a variable and you had a fixed portion, but, you know, ensuring that you always looked at the bigger picture, like what quality, like what is our mission? What are we doing here? Yeah. Your, you know, annual you know, billables, like each year grew because your role and your position grew and what you were contributing yeah. to grew. Yeah. You've got to see the future in it for sure. And like, also you just have to understand that the job will be better for you as yeah. well. If you put that, yeah, when you, it's not all about how you're paid, it's about how is this going to progress the program to the point where everybody else is going to be happier. Things are going to get done better. Like it just, it's a, complete all-encompassing buy-in yeah absolutely grow the pie share grow the, the pie. pie share the and pie yeah you know what possibly you know there, there's hey heck more pie and like yeah. really enjoy it a little bit yeah